Investigators are trying to figure out how and why they're finding loose bolts on Boeing's 737 MAX 9 planes. That is the same model plane that saw one of its door plugs get blown out of an Alaska Airlines flight. According to investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board, they can't find the bolts that were supposed to hold that door together. They're not even exactly sure if those bolts were there to begin with. CBS News has learned that at least five other airliners have found loose bolts on their MAX 9 fleets. For now, hundreds of those MAX 9 planes are grounded for at least several days. A lot to get into as far as this conversation is concerned. We are bringing in Ross Amer, a retired airline pilot, captain, and also CEO of Aero Consulting Experts. Thank you for being here with us. My pleasure, Terrence. So a lot of people are understandably a little shaken by what has happened with this flight. What do you make of this whole situation? Well, I'm, I want to say I'm shocked, but I'm not. I've been in aviation for 60 years, flying Boeing jets for 40 years. Uh, when I see this type of disregard for safety, it's, it's very saddening. Uh, something that was a, a shocking revelation just came about that basically explained what is happening uh, with Boeing and their subcontractor that built this fuselage. Uh, it's a, uh, a revelation on YouTube that a, uh, a lawsuit was filed by the shareholders of Aero, uh, Spirit Aero that makes the fuselage for the Boeing 737. And the shareholders are complaining against the company itself for putting profits over safety. That ought to tell you something. Yeah, it, it definitely does. And for investigators to say they're not even sure if those bolts were there to begin with, that in itself is pretty shocking and alarming. Do you think this could have an impact on travel? I, I, I'm definitely, uh, Personally, myself, I'm, I'm going to think twice about getting on uh, late model Boeing aircraft because, you know, when you're not buying a lawnmower, uh, airlines are paying 150 to 200 million dollars for a 737 Max. You expect that the bolts are uh, put in properly and torqued properly, inspected, quality control. But apparently all of those failed at Boeing and their subcontractor, uh, Spirit Aero. Now, safety, obviously critical for airline travel. What do you make of some of these issues that we're seeing? Do you think that they're moving too fast to try to meet the demand? Are workers just not paying enough attention? What could this be? You know, I hate to say it. It's probably all of the above. Uh, you have a, a very unhappy workforce. You don't listen to their complaints. In, in this lawsuit, they actually have whistleblowers that said, we are wrenches that uh, uh, test the uh, torque are not calibrated. And the person who complained uh, was fired instead. So these complaints and what is happening with manufacturing uh, is alarming. And uh, obviously FAA did the right thing, airlines did the right thing by grounding in these airplanes till they find out exactly what is happening um, over there. Uh, how many other items are missing from these airplanes? Mm -hmm. Brand new one, mind you. Yeah, well, a former FAA administrator told CBS News that the planes are considered still safe to fly. Now, even though these situations are rare, I would imagine, though, that this will still have some kind of impact on passenger perception. Yes, Terrence. Uh, you know, they were, we've been very lucky uh, with, uh, with this airplane that this happened at 16,000 feet and not at cruising altitude of 35 or 37,000 feet, where the pressure differential is a lot higher. Uh, at those altitudes, pressure differential could be 8 PSI. And this would be a uh, explosive decompression instead of just a pop and the door falls off at 16,000. In that case, uh, probably the whole section of seats and passengers could have been sucked out of that big refrigerator size hole. Oh, that is just scary to even think about. Uh, National Transportation Safety Board 
is now investigating, and they're saying that this could take up to a year before they're able to present those findings. Based on your experience, why does it take so long? Well, as you remember, the previous grounding of the MAX due to that NCAS issue took almost two years. So uh, if I'm inspecting this airplane, I want to make sure I've got everything covered. So this could take a while uh, because it may not be just a bolt for this uh, exit uh, door. Uh, it could be they could find other issues that are dangerous. For example, they, they also have found some loose bolts in the rudder system. Uh, so um, this doesn't surprise me that it might take a while, I'm afraid. Yeah, and we know this isn't the first time that Boeing has been on the wrong side of headlines. A lot of people are really upset with them and concerned. We saw those crashes in 2018 and 19 as well. Um, also a halt with production. Do you think that they're going to have to do a lot of work to try to minimize how people are now looking at those particular planes? Absolutely, uh, Terrence. Uh, you know, I was lucky to fly the greatest airplanes in the world, 707, the 747, the 727. Those were fantastic airplanes, but somehow things changed at Boeing uh, where they put profits over safety and engineering. And they have to do a lot of soul searching. And if it was up to me, a lot of heads will roll too. Uh, I think the upper management of Boeing, they need to find out what is happening at this great manufacturing, uh, uh, the biggest one in the world basically at one time. Sure, and we want to reiterate the fact that we are never here to incite any kind of fear, but these are just a lot of questions that plenty of people have. Ross Amer, a retired airline pilot and also captain and the CEO of Aero Consulting Experts. Thank you for your expertise and for your time. My pleasure, sir.